help support our coverage with a free account on Privacy, the service that keeps you protected when shopping online. Get $5 to try it now by using promo code QZZ2J. All right, well, our next guest is here. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? Good, good. Thank you. How are you? Fantastic. Go ahead and introduce yourself for me. Hi, uh, I'm Mandy. I'm from Limo Tech, and I'm the co-founder of uh, this uh, this team. And today, I'm very happy to be here and share my product with you. So, obviously, I was just looking at it while we were getting things set. Uh, let's talk about what we've got going on down here. Yeah, thank you. Uh, so, I'm very anxious to uh, introduce you to the Limo One robotic mower. Okay. Um, it is uh, the world first robotic mower with a rotary motion blades. Okay. I believe it's going to be the game changer for you, uh, for you, with your lawn, which is going to be your like effortless smart lawn care body, uh, because it has the rotary motion blades. It handles all type of grass, including thick to tough, thick tough, and long to wet, and. Uh, okay. It does not just cut the grass, it also mulches. So oh. the finely chopped uh, clippings can be s spread out evenly across your lawn, which can be taken as natural fertilizer, makes your lawn look even healthier or more vibrant. And uh, other than okay. that, it's super efficient. It has a 16 inch wide cutting width. It covers five times more, yeah, five times more uh, ground per day than most other robotic mowers. That's okay. why it is perfect for large lawns. You can get a lot done within less time, but without losing any exceptional uh, uh, quality. Okay. And uh, you see with the treads, the, the track tread design provides uh, incredible traction and uh, stability. It can climb hills up to 45 degrees, glides over uh, any obstacles such as tree branches, or uneven, uh, uneven ground up to two inch uh, clearance. So no matter how challenging is your, uh, your lawn is, it handles like a pro. Okay. Other than, uh, it's not just powerful, but it's super intelligent. You don't need to worry about it damage anything because it's smart, um, it's smart obstacle avoidance system. It makes sure it manures safely uh, around people, paths, or anything in its way. Okay. And it uses RDK and VSLAM technology, which uh, avoids you, uh, which does not require the boundary wires. So. Okay. And, and so it, you don't have to do a big install. Nope. Okay. It's, uh, you, you you can uh, so it also provides super uh, super precise uh, localization. That's how you can. Uh, manage everything through your app. You can do uh, multiple zone uh, management, and you can even customize your cutting patterns, like uh, diamonds or checkboard or any other, even circular patterns as what you want. And okay. other than, and plus, this thing is built to last. This okay. thing is made with a, a die cast alloy, uh, al uh, aluminum alloy frame. Okay. And is built for durability and stability under any condition. It literally looks like a tank. Yep. So it, you're saying it's built like one too? Uh, yeah, okay. we're trying to make it like a heavy duty uh, yard tools instead of just a flimsy uh, like a toy for people. Okay. So what does setup of this, I, I've just bought one, I've mm -hmm. opened it up, it's charging. What does it look like to set this up for the first time? Super easy. Okay. You download the app and then you take the app as like uh, your uh, remote control. You walk behind your robot and let it go around your perimeter, like a boundary. Okay. Once, it, once that is set, then that's going to be the defined area of your lawn. Then you set the robot there, and you can, do, uh, you can divide the zone into multiple zones. For instance, you have a multiple uh, type of grass. You want to set each zone with different cutting height. That's totally possible. And then you just leave it there. It will do the rest on its own. It can go back to charge itself. And it can, um, I mean, when it rains, it detects the rain and go back to its docking, protect himself without getting wet or anything. So basically, it is a one-time setup. 
and then you forget about it. Then they take care of the rest of the loan. Okay, so we start as if it's a remote control car. Mm -hmm. We drive it around the lawn. Mm -hmm. We do, that's how we build out our perimeter. Yep. And then it's using, is it using GPS to, to mm -hmm. identify where it is and then mm -hmm. stay within that boundary? Yep. Okay. It uses GPS plus vision system. Okay. That's what makes sure it has precise localization all the time. Even if under cover, covered area, like with the large trees or tall buildings, you don't lose your uh, your signal. Okay. So it's it's able to identify items around it to remember what its boundaries are. Yep. Okay. Very cool. So sounds like setup is pretty easy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, how does it power? So this thing uses a Li-Fi PO4 battery. It's very okay. reliable. It's the same one that you use in electrical cars. Okay. It's very safe and it has a super uh, high capacity. It lasts for three hours once it's fully charged. Okay. And if it is, uh, the battery is low, it will just return back to the docking station and charge it itself. Excellent. That's what I wanted to hear. Yeah. Once it's finished, it will go back to wherever it left off and okay. just continue the task. All right. So there's a docking station. I probably, that lives outside is my guess. You can set it inside or outside. It's all up to you. It has a little housing to protect it from okay. weathering. Hey, there was going to be my next question. Mm -hmm. So it can live outside. Mm -hmm. It's got a little protection. The, the mower starts its life in there. Mm, yep. <laughs> and then when it's ready to go, I imagine we can set parameters, do it once a week or whatever. Yep. It comes out. It does its thing. If mm -hmm. it takes too long, it returns back. It charges. Mm -hmm. It goes out, picks up where it left off, finishes mm -hmm. its process, mm -hmm. returns back, and waits yep. for its next time that it's supposed to go. Yeah. You can schedule at any time you want it to go okay. out to work. And uh, it will just do it automatically. And then I can tell it, I've changed my mind, go now. Yeah, you okay. can start it. I mean, I mean, break its own uh, schedule and then do it anytime you want. Okay. So for us, like in Florida, mm -hmm. this month, I probably only have to do it every couple of weeks. But in August, mm -hmm. I might have to do it twice a week. Oh, that's totally fine. You can do it every day if you want. <laughs> this thing covers up to 1.7 acres per day based on only three charges a day. You only okay. use it during the day, but if you want to use it at night, it can cover even more than three acres. So, Okay. So you mentioned using it at night. The important question then becomes how much noise does this make? We know some mowers make a lot of noise. Mm -hmm. Some, I have an electric push mower which is incredibly quiet, mm -hmm. where does this one fall? So this one has a, it tested for 65 decibel. Okay. Compared to traditional mower, it's almost nothing. You basically don't hear it. If you're like a few, few yards away from it, you can totally ignore it. Okay. So at night, if you're staying at home uh, within the, uh, the house, uh, so you don't hear it at all. Okay. Yeah, 65's not bad. 90's mm -hmm. were... Oh, where my yeah. watch starts to complain. <laughs> yeah, night is <laughs> bad. Uh, yeah. Okay. Very cool. So uh, the the important questions, mm -hmm. uh, availability, price, things like that. Okay. So we launched in Kickstarter like uh, uh, in last uh, in last October, okay. and uh, it's now actually the most popular product and best selling product in Kickstarter in this category. Now, uh, congratulations! We're thank you. We're still on the late pledge. We're success. We're already being successfully f funded. We raised three point four million dollars at the third forty-five days, uh, and then it's still on the late pledge. And it's now for uh, nineteen ninety-nine per unit. Uh, then when we go to uh, move to Amazon and our own website, it's going to be two ninety-nine for retail price. I want you to say that number one more time. Okay. It's uh, $2,999. Okay. I wanted to make sure because the first thing you said couldn't have possibly been correct. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, but no. for a Kickstarter late pledge, you get it for $1,999. Okay. Fantastic. I mean, yeah. that's, that's literally in I the price range of some of the indoor vacuums. 
Yeah. yeah, yeah, and a lot of outdoor like equipments that can go up to that price very easily, especially okay. for a, a good one. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. um, and so, uh, do you have a time window, an expected time window, on when they might actually hit the market? So we we're gonna ship the pr unit for our Kickstarter uh, customers between uh, February and uh, to uh, to uh, to March, late March, and then starting from early April or late March, we're gonna sell it on Amazon or okay. our website. Then that's when everybody can get it, and we can start shipping right then. Okay, so so you're expecting to ship these things like in a couple of weeks, start to start uh, February March. We're not talking February, March 26. No, we're okay. 2025, yeah. Okay, so literally just a just month and a half or so. Yeah, exactly, because we're exactly during, we're, we're during, we're in the massive production right now, just okay. getting everything ready. Fantastic. Uh, so if people want more information about this, how can they get it? Uh, just get into the, uh, our website, limo.com and you will find all the information you need, or you want to search for like uh, YouTube videos, go to YouTube and search for Limo, then you can find all the uh, you, uh, like uh, YouTubers, tes uh, beta testers, reviews, and real customer reviews and everything. Fantastic. Well, legitimately looking at it, mm -hmm. it looks like a beast, which is what it's supposed to, right? Um, <laughs> thank you. Now, now I can see it better. Um, it it looks like a tank. It looks it's a it's a serious piece of kit. Um, I would not worry about this thing outside. That's like some of them I've seen. Even some we've had on the show in the past. Mm -hmm. I look at them like okay, that uh, obviously you're like a, a vacuum company that oh, thought yeah. that you were going to get into lawn mowers mm -hmm. and no. Uh, <laughs> I mean, this, it's tall, right? It, it's the, the height is tall. It's, it's tall. got treads. Mm -hmm. It doesn't just look like a vacuum cleaner that we're trying mm -hmm. to put outside. Yeah. This looks like it can cut your lawn yeah, this no looks, matter the condition. That's exactly how my uh, my friend, my landlord call, call it. Yeah. Uh, when I first introduced it to him, he said, it's a beast yeah. with uh, real teeth. The, the there blade, you go. they yeah, call yeah. it teeth. Okay, yeah, I can see that. Well, it, it looks fantastic. I, I can't wait to go Thank check you. out videos of it in Thank action. You so much. It's it's really cool. And uh, really I'm glad this. that you've been successful in your Kickstarter and hopefully your Amazon launch will go just as well. Thank you so much. Yeah, for sure. Thanks for coming on and showing it to Thank me today. Thank you. Have a good rest of the show. You too. The Tech Podcast Network CES 2025 coverage is executive produced by Adam Barker. Technical director is Kirk Corliss. Associate producers are Nancy Ertz, Tracy Ingram, Xerxes Goddard, Brandy Jackson, and Aviva Cram. Voiceover by Aaron Hurst. Our hosts are Marlo Anderson, Don Bain, and Scott Ertz. Studio and equipment are provided by Plunkett's Productions. The TPN Studio Executive is Todd Cochran. This has been a Tech Podcast Network production, copyright 2025.